Rating, easily one of the most controversial topics in Frostborn, and it definitely needs its own video. But the key takeaway from rating is how fast and how simple a few players can just wipe out all of the loot in your base. In the span of less than an hour, weeks worth of farming can be gone in an instant. Clearly this is a big problem the game needs to address, but as I said, this is a separate video in and of itself. But while I was thinking of solutions on how they can tackle this possible problem, I did realize through the use of these limited time offers, I think they're limited time, you can pretty much get an unrateable base for under $10. First, you're going to want to buy coins. Everything in Frostborn is done via coins. A little different than LDOE, as LDOE requires you to spend money on them. Frostborn is all about the coins, and you use the coins to buy items. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to buy this offer, or if you have a couple of dollars extra to spare, I would recommend buying the other offer as just for like half the price in USD, you can get two rooms instead of one. And then the second step is you're going to want to buy stone rooms. You may ask, why not buy the metal room? Well, metal is way more expensive than stone. For the stone room, you'd have to pay 250 coins. But for metal, you need to pay over 2,000. And then the other reason why you'd want to buy stone rooms. Currently, there is no equivalent to C4 in Frostborn. Yes, there may be an item in the build menu, but the materials to make this item are not in the game. However, you may say this is the same as LDOE as the items to make the C4 are not in the game, but the C4 is. However, Frostborn, you can't find the equivalent to C4. In LDOE, you can find C4 at floppies, bunker crates, etc. But in Frostborn, there is currently no way to get explosives. So if you have level 3 walls, you're unrateable. Now, the whole reason why I'm making this video. I've seen a lot of people call Frostborn pay to play. Or actually, since you're fighting other players, pay to win. What I do want to use this video for, aka the first half of my original plan, is for you to leave all of your comments, all of your thoughts about Frostborn being pay to win, pay to play, etc. Is it pay to win, pay to play, or is it neither? Leave your thoughts below. Make sure to let me know all of your opinions on this subject. I know in LVOE it is a very, very controversial topic. If you're a pay to win player, if you're a free to play player, but I want to hear your thoughts on this. Because in this game, you are directly fighting and raiding enemy players. Spend, as I've said in this video, in the title of this video, less than $10. You are unrateable. So make sure to tell me your thoughts below. And as always, don't raid my base. Thank you.